Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and Wubin just launched a Kickstarter for this X1 Pro light. It is a really beast of a light, essentially a next gen of the Falcon light. And the Falcon taught us a lot of things that were possible. This is just picking up on those years in development. It's a wild light when you think about what it can do. In fact, that even creates a bit of a definitional problem. What is this? Is this a area light, flood light, work light, shop light? Is it a spotlight, rescue light, emergency light? Is it a dog walking light? Is this a bike light, a car headlamp, or a battery bank that can charge your iPhone twice? I mean, it's a serious piece of hardware for actually a really good price. There's an even better price if you get on board early, obviously, with a Kickstarter. But even um, when I see the retail prices of these things, um, you're you're still looking at something. I mean, because I've spent a bunch of money on stuff like this, which is nothing but a battery bank. Oh, it does have a have a flashlight there in case you want that or this one here it's got two flashlights but seriously throwing the money into something like this is pretty impressive this has got um, a one button interface here now here's what's going on you can have it in the flood mode the spot mode or the combined mode now in the combined mode the top output you can get out of this thing is 13,000 lumens for one minute then it throttles to 5,000 for a minute and then it settles in at 3,000 lumens that it can sustain for 1.7 hours I mean we're talking plug-in shop light stuff there or I can choose lower outputs across either the spot or the flood now in the combined if I've got both of these running what I can do is get that full 13,000 or run it for the 3,000 and then it also has 1,400 and a 20 lumen output now the reason for those numbers is because um, the lower ends on both the spot and the flood are 500 210 lumens so that's where you just double those numbers uh, and you can get the uh, combined spot and flood numbers. Now, the interface for this, single button here, if you hold it in, you go to that low mode in, well, whatever it's set at. The low is 20 if you're combined, or 10 for flood and 10 for spot. Um, if you, once it's on, um, if you hold the button in, it will toggle through the general settings, just like that. Okay, and then you can actively switch this, so if I can move back and forth easily, which is one of the nice things. I don't have to toggle through a whole bunch to get to floods or, or spots. I can, it's on demand with that button. Um, and at any point on or off, if I double click, I can go to that full turbo mode, and then that's when it really kicks up, and that's when the fan will actually kick on too. Uh, before we go outside, let me show you a couple other things on this. Uh, it does have a uh, mounting point. I put a bike, um, a bike mount on this thing because those kinds of outputs, even 3,000, a car headlight, the old halogen headlights were between 700 and 1,200 lumens. A xenon headlight, which are what a lot of us still use, are 3,000 to 3,500. So that's actually the runtime here. I mean, the the run, the useful runtime. Uh, on the high output of 3,000 lumens. Uh, LEDs you can push up to 6,000 and then lasers go up to 10,000. But in this case, uh, for an, an actual light that you could run, even if you wanted the equivalent of an old school 700 lumen headlamp, which is what is in a, a lot of cars right now, the combined spot and flood, um, if I was running the, uh, the 700 lumens on both, um, I am going to get hours of runtime. Um, that's it's just wild to think about that, um, and that's that's even at either a thousand or at four hundred. Um, the power bank on this thing is fifteen watt output, but a lot of people um, requested something. See this little switch back here? If I put that to the unlock, slide it there, push the button, just like in some other woman Wuben lights out pop a pair of 4800 milliamp 27 or 21 700s. These are easily replaceable. All you need is the nubbed one um, and you can swap them out. Doesn't have to be the Wuben brand, but one of the things with those, you might say, well, I could put a more powerful light in here or a more powerful battery because they do have more powerful 21 700s. But the 4800 twice, 
uh, gives you 9,600 milliamp hours, which is under the 10,000 uh, cutoff for the TSA to uh, ban the device from flying on a plane. Um, so if you do that, um, stay under that limit, you can carry this wherever you want. So it could be, you know, <laughs> the, you, okay, the runtime, if I run it on 10 lumens, um, if I'm running 10 lumens on the, uh, on the spot right here, looks like this, it's that amount of light, I can run this for about 18 days nonstop, 455 hours. That's because that's the efficiency of the LEDs and the onboard, onboard power just really just pushes this thing. But let's go outside um, because here's what's going on with this thing. Um, I can, with that active switching between spot and flood, what I'm able to do is, uh, na say, navigate easily with a, a nice uh, floodlight and then easily turn it to a spot if I need to and look way out in the distance, way, way out in the distance. Now, this has 35,000 candel on its high end. I mean, that's when you're pushing that 13,000 lumens. It's not, that's not a huge number of candela, but, you know, usually atmospheric materials, dust, water, whatever, uh, buildings, um, get in the way from really long uses of, of, um, of light, really far throwing, or you simply can't see much out there without some kind of magnification. So you can see here, you know, there's a whole pile of deer out there, but you can't see them until I zoom in a little bit with my camera. Anyway, there's a whole lot to this thing. Uh, you know, you've got um, a, a fan module up here that is now replaceable. Um, you can buy a bike module so you can run it, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So this thing weighs 383 grams or 13.5 ounces. So it's a, it's a little beefy, but it's a really solid design. There are going to be changes. This is a prototype. They are working um, on uh, um, updates, feedback. I gave them some feedback. And... Uh, there's the Kickstarter site, which allows people to get in early for a better price if this is something that you're looking for. Uh, but anyway, I'm glad Wubin is really pushing this stuff next level. Pretty crazy to think about a light that you can get 18 days at 10 lumens out of. Or have the same brightness as a car headlight. Or reach out almost 400 yards with plenty of light to actually do something. I'm just crazy. Anyway, go check out the site. I threw a lot of numbers at you. It's going to take a little while to digest all of that. But once you use this thing, it's quite intuitive. And you actually wish a lot of things were designed this way. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. And with that, Doc out.